In this morning's Health Watch, high-tech screening for lung cancer. 157,000 Americans die of lung cancer every year. It's the leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. But now a major government study finds that lung cancer screening with CAT scans can dramatically reduce that death toll, as CBS News correspondent Betty Wynn reports. For more than 50 years, Stephanie and Frank Torrigelli were heavy smokers, but never experienced serious health problems. I never had any illness. The only thing I had was a smoker's cough. You feel good. You, I don't gasp for air or anything. But after entering a program offering CAT scans, they both found signs of lung cancer. Stephanie had a growth removed from her lung in 2008. Frank will have the same procedure this July. If I didn't take the test, I might not even be around now. A new study in the New England Journal of Medicine says they're not alone. They tested more than 53,000 smokers ages 55 to 74 using CT scans or chest x-rays. The smokers screened with CAT scans had 20 percent fewer deaths from lung cancer. This is really good news. Dr. Denise Aberly with UCLA Cancer Center is a lead investigator of the study. This trial is probably the biggest gun in our armor against lung cancer right now. There are more than 94 million current and former smokers in this country. More than 156,000 are estimated to die from lung cancer this year alone. If CAT scans can help identify cancer and save lives, why isn't everyone getting the test? CT screening and its implementation, if that ultimately happens, will not be a simple process. According to the study, about 24 percent of the scans registered false positive tests potentially exposing a patient to invasive tests and unnecessary anxiety. CT scans also cost between $300 and $500, a price not covered by insurance. It's a debate that rages on, but for the Torigellis, the answer is clear. The CAT scan is very important. A lot of people should be doing this. Betty Wing, CBS News, New York. The American Cancer Society and other groups expect to come out with CT screening advice in the next few months. As always, doctors say the best way to avoid lung cancer, and listen up kids, is not to smoke in the first place. Up next, more detail, details.